Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 2. Digital well-being is a new feature on Android Q that can help you monitor and control the use of your phone and apps. Today I'm going to show you how to set it up. So go to settings, then tap on digital well-being. The circle will show you the amount of time you spend on each app today. As you can see, Chrome, Photos and YouTube Studio took the majority of my screen time today. If you want to control how much time you spend every day on each app, tap on the dashboard. Now select a day in the past, let's say Monday. You can either tap on the bar chart or the left and right arrows to change the date. As you can see, on Monday the 30th of September, my total screen time was 2 hours 23 minutes. On that day, I spent 54 minutes on Chrome and 27 minutes on Viber. To put a limit on Chrome, tap on the countdown timer next to the app. Set an app timer, let's say 5 minutes. Then OK. This means every day you will only be allowed to use Chrome for 5 minutes. Now if I go to my home page, you will see the Chrome icon is greyed out because I have already used Chrome more than 5 minutes today. If you tap on it, you will find that the app is paused because the Chrome timer has run out. You can do the same for all the other apps. Now go back to the digital wellbeing page and tap on wind down. Turn on wind down. Here you can set a schedule for your phone to wind down. Choose the dates, let's say Monday to Friday. Choose a time start, let's say 10 p.m. And end time, let's say 8 a.m. Now you can select your wind down settings, either grayscale or do not disturb. If you choose grayscale, your phone will turn into black and white between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. If you choose do not disturb, your phone will not receive any notifications or calls between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. A great way to help you monitor and control the usage of your phone and apps. With Quick Tips 2, Knowledge has no limits.